have important work to do. With me today is Rogue and Viper. We're going to watch a few Maxbox clips over here and uh, discuss some of the things we see and whether or not we think these people are cheating. So, how's it going, guys? Uh, it's hey, going good. pretty good. I'm excited to to witness the famed Maxbox doing some analysis and see what see what's going on. How about you, Rogue? Yeah, I really can't wait. Apparently, there's some juicy stuff going on here, so I'm really excited. All right, so let's get started. Let's rewind. To start right off, he gets a pretty nice crit on the spy, but that's not really extreme evidence. Watch how he pre-aims the sniper after he jumps out the window. Now, with a combination of all of this and a few more fishy shots, I'm going to say this person is using walls and a trigger bot. Also, if you look down at the character info, these are some pretty good shots for someone with a gibbous. But what did so, he just... Overall, I'd say this person's a hacker. <laughs> Alright guys, what do you think? Well, I want to address the Gibbous thing first off. <laughs> I mean, I know when I'm playing Sniper in pubs, I always use the Gibbous, so... I think you can just go ahead and like disregard like any bias that would come from what hats the guy's wearing. I agree, I agree. Um, and, and the other thing, like, the thing I noticed right off the bat was when he said he was pre-firing the sniper on roof. Uh, you, you maybe, like, rewind to that part, because I'm not sure, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that, like, I saw the sniper's head peek up before he aimed that, sure at that spot. Sure, we can watch it again. Oh, yeah. You can see it pop up a little bit to the right of that. Yeah. I'm also kind of curious where he got the trigger bot from. I mean, some of these shots are, you know... Seem pretty standard, and he whiffs a couple of them from what I can, from what I can see anyway. They don't really seem like such obscure shots. But I also wanted to note that you guys didn't notice is that this is a POV demo. This isn't someone spectating someone else. So this is someone who recorded themselves playing and sent it to Maxbox. Now, why would you do that? Hmm. Yeah, that is a good point. Truthfully, this is not anybody cheating. This is a legitimate player. In fact. This is former ETF2L anti-cheat admin, Solid, playing in a pub on an alt account, memeing on Maxbox, sending it over to him just to see if he would call him a cheater. <laughs> Pretty good. I, I That's actually, really good. I actually have the chat log with uh, Solid, not only of him sending me the demo files, but his blessings to, I guess, out him on video. The demo files would be in a link below if anybody wants to check it out. The other thing, this, like, that I just wanted to like talk about was that he saw one instance that where he thought the guy might be walling even though even though I think he was wrong he concluded that he was walling on one clip that looked like maybe somewhat fishy and I'm really hung up on the trigger bot like he says there's a trigger bot with almost no evidence there's so many times the cursor goes over different characters over heads and the other misses or body shots instead so uh, where was that even from all right, so we're going to watch the second clip here. Sounds so, good. Do you think they're cheating? Before you make your decision, keep in mind that this clip was actually featured in the top 10 TFT plays of the month show. Keep watching and see what he does. So, made your decision? Believe it or not, this person was actually cheating. Just remember, even if someone's using fancy items or doing fancy things, doesn't mean that they're not cheating. What did you guys think of that? Uh... <laughs> So if the clip where the guy took a ton of shots wasn't enough evidence, I think this guy taking one shot is definitely not enough, especially given that they didn't really do anything that a normal person couldn't do. They did a surf, which isn't even really something you can cheat with easily, at least. And then they hit a pretty straightforward shot where they just barely moved their mouse after they zoomed in. So that's definitely not enough to make any sort of conclusion. I agree. Like, you don't even need cheats to make a shot like that. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, the the, sh the shot that he hit was, like, relatively routine. It just was remarkable because he hit it after the surf. This second clip that we watched is in the top 10 plays of the month of April of 2016. And if you guys remember, the VAC band wave happened that month. The player in question was actually affected by that VAC wave. But in the context of this one clip that he showed, I don't think... He he even needed cheats to make that kind of shot. He could have been walling, sure, but there's no evidence. And to say that, oh, this guy was cheating just because he had the VAC ban, I think what Maxbox was trying to go for is more of the controversial thing of like, hey, this guy was in the top 10 player of the month and he was a hacker. He, they, they displayed a hacker. I agree completely. And that's especially sort of a, 
he he really goes to show that because he only shows the one clip. Like of all the stuff that that guy did, just that one little shot, and then no explanation, no additional evidence. It's definitely kind of like a, almost a low blow just to try and get a hit in, you know? Yeah, I think like just because the user in question is confirmed to have cheated does not necessarily mean that he was cheating in the that exact clip. Because they don't, it's not like the people that use cheats, you know, have them on all the time or are using them at every second. He could have just been playing the game. You don't necessarily know that he was using a cheat in that exact instance because there wasn't any evidence that he to suggest that he was cheating at that moment. I mean, he, like you said, he could have been walling, but you don't know if he was. There's no way to tell. He had the POV demo of that clip. I guess he added Lucky Luke or X sign and got it from him. So instead of like trying to find any point in the match where he can find actual evidence, he just went with the actual clip that they used in the top 10 and put that in his video and said the guy was cheating without actually analyzing it any. But anyways, um, this video is getting really long, so thank you guys for both joining me today. And maybe you guys will join me again next week. But thank you for your time, both of you. My pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. See ya. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to my channel. If there's any more additional content you guys like to see, please leave a comment below, and I'll try to include it in my next video. Thank you for watching.